Here's a brief tutorial of where you could find most of everything on our Blackboard course here for Anatomy and Physiology 1 at Alvin Community College. So once you come into our course site and you click on our course link, the first uh, place you're going to be taken to is what we call the dashboard. That's this screen here. And really the major thing on this screen that you're going to be looking out for uh, when you log in is announcements. And that's what you see in this area here. And if you were to log in today, the first thing you would see is your welcome announcement because it's the first day of class. As we go on throughout the semester, I'll post weekly announcements, kind of telling you what we're going to be doing for the week and if anything's due that week as well. It'll all come to this announcement section on your dashboard, which is the home page for our class. Then over to the left here, you see a drop down menu with lots of links for you to access and click on. <clears throat> Welcome to a brief tutorial of where everything is in our Blackboard course here at Alvin Community College for Anatomy and Physiology 1. So when you click on our course and you come to our course site, the first page you're going to visit is what you see here. It's called the dashboard. The dashboard is just your basically your home page for our class. And on this home page screen, the major thing you're going to be looking out for are announcements. And so as we start the course, the first thing you're going to see is a welcome announcement. And as the class proceeds, you'll have weekly announcements. Weekly announcements are just me posting to remind you what we're going to be doing for the week and what's due, if anything's due for that week. Remember, you know everything we're doing and when everything is due because it's in your course syllabus. This is just going to be where I remind you. So when you first come into our class, and you hit the dashboard, first thing you're going to check are your announcements, just in case anything has changed. Then if you look over to the left, you see this drop down menu with lots of links for you to click through. Some of them are what we're going to be looking through. Like this next link here, it's called Course Syllabus and Information. It pretty much tells you in the name what's going on. Here you'll be able to find your syllabus and if you click on it, it's a PDF document that will pop up, kind of outlining a lot of the basic information for this course. Please read through the syllabus. It has lots of vital information like how to contact me. Turns out the best way to contact me is via my email, chiggs at alvincollege.edu. And it's reminding us that we are working remotely, meaning we're an online class this semester. And if you go through it, again, it has basic syllabus information. You could read through it. Here it has your course outline. This is our calendar. So you can see from this course outline, from our calendar, you can see every single Monday and Wednesday what we have scheduled for our class. You can see when your exams are. You can see when quizzes are. You can see when pre-labs are due and when homeworks are due. And it goes throughout the entire semester all the way to the last day of class. Plus, I list some other holidays where school might be closed, such as uh, for Independence Day, 4th of July. And again, lots of information in the syllabus. Please read through it. It has all the vital information you'll need to get started. And again, that could be found in our course syllabus and information section. Then the other thing in this area is your extra credit. Yes, I do give extra credit and you can find all that information in this folder here. It's basically in the form of a podcast. You'll receive two points of extra credit for every episode of the podcast you listen to and you write a one paragraph summary about. Basically, tell me what you heard in the episode. And um, there's no rush to turn in this extra credit. You really want to use this to help boost your grade. Put it on lower lecture or lab exams. You could only put it on lecture and lab exams, not homeworks, not assignments. And so with that, you don't know where your weakest exam is right now. So I don't have it due until August 11th, which is pretty much after the last day of class. And then 
Continuing through our links, next up is what we call the discussion board. This is basically going to be like our classroom. If you ever have a question that you don't mind others seeing, please post it in the discussion board. And I break it up to kind of help organize things. I break it up by chapter. So as you're going through lecture and lab, if you have a question about a particular chapter, you could post it here in the discussion board. I'll see it, I'll be able to respond to it, and everyone else in the class could be able to see the responses as well. So it's almost like we still have class, we're still able to engage and ask questions and talk, we're just gonna have to do it online. Keep going, oh, where's your material? Oh, uh, your textbook is already given to you. You've already been charged a fee for it. And it's available online through this link here, the Pearson E-Text Ammerman, that's the author, and Mastering a &P. And if you click on the link, you'll see a page just like this here. First page is showing you your assignments. This is basically your homeworks. You'll have 10 homeworks throughout the semester and they'll be in the, or multiple homeworks throughout the semester and they'll be in the mastering assignments link. If you wanna study your textbook, there's the Pearson e-text and there is a study area. It tells you exactly what it is in the name. It's where you go to study. They have lots of available resources, additional videos, animations, even quizzes. Remember, you could study all you want, but how do you know you're holding on to the information? Well, you gotta practice. And you don't want your exam to be the first time you're practicing. So I highly recommend you use this study area, take practice quizzes and exams. I don't see your grade when you do the practice quizzes and exams in the study area. So if you study and then you go on to do a practice exam and you get a zero out of 100, well, that's your dirty little secret. I never know because I can't see what you're doing in the study area. It's just for you, just to help you to study. So that's pretty much it for materials. Even in the e-text, it has lots of images to help with lab as well. So you don't feel like you don't have your lecture and lab material. It's all here given to you. If you scroll on down further, remember the best way to email me is at my email, chiggs at alvincollege.edu. But you can also email me through D2L. Just click the email uh, link and it breaks it up. If you want to email everybody, you can. But if you want to select one person to email, just click the select users and you'll see a list of everyone in our class. And I am in the class as well. My name is Crystal Higgs. <clears throat> so again, if you want to email, you can. Just click the email link or email me directly. As we go through the class, you'll get grades. To see your grades, you'll just click on the My Grades link. And you, if you click on it now, even though there are no grades yet, because we haven't started, you can see it's already listing things that you will eventually get a grade for. So whenever you complete an assignment or complete an exam and I've graded it, just check out the My Grades section. It has all your grades. That's where they will all populate. Keep going. Then we break up the class into a lecture and a lab portion. All your lecture material is in the lecture course section here. And you can see from uh, my screen, they break it up by chapter. So if you just click on any chapter, what's gonna be in all this lecture course information? Well, every chapter, we'll have a little basic instruction section kind of guiding you. Remember, you're getting guided through this entire class. You're not going through this kind of blindfolded. Everything's laid out for you. Everything is uh, written out. You just gotta read and follow the instructions. And if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. So you'll see instructions. Then for each chapter, there's also notes. Imagine someone took notes for you. That's what these are. So even if you don't want to read through lecture PowerPoint, read through a textbook or watch videos, you can literally just read through these notes. It has everything for the chapter for you. What else is available? <clears throat> In each chapter, besides the lecture notes, you'll have the actual lecture PowerPoint. You'll have the lecture PowerPoint as well as a narrated video of the lecture PowerPoint. This is the lecture. 
This is all that would happen in a face-to-face class. You will come to lecture, I'll pull up a PowerPoint, and I'll begin talking until class is done, answering any questions along the way. So these narrated videos are your lecture. If you have questions, don't forget to go to the discussion board or email me. And that's it for lecture material in terms of what to do. It's just really watching the videos, studying, and doing your homework. But again, going back to a chapter, like chapter one. So again, you see the instructions, you see the notes, and again, you'll have your lecture PowerPoints and your narrated videos. And then for some chapters, you may also find some additional module activities, some recommended dynamic study modules. These are just for practice. Okay. Only required material is to watch your videos, study, do your homeworks, and take your exams. These extra study modules are just for practice. Remember, you could study all you want, but how do you know you're holding on to the information? You need to study. So that's the lecture component component. Then if you continue to scroll down on that side menu, you'll see that there's the lab portion. And it's pretty much broken up just how we did lecture. For lab, each section is broken up by chapter. Each unit in the lab manual is a chapter. And so it's kind of like how we do with the lecture. You'll first see your instructions telling you what to do. In terms of lab, you'll have to turn in pre-lab exercises through mastery. Then when you click on a section in the lab, again, you'll have the PowerPoint for the lab because I would do the same thing. If we went to lab, I will pull up a PowerPoint, point and show you things in the PowerPoint as well, on, as well as on models and pictures. So you have the same thing here. They have the lecture PowerPoint and then they have a video helping to walk you through that lab. And that's pretty much it for learning information in lecture and lab. But again, you can study all you want, but how do you know you're holding on to the info? You need to practice. So a lot of every chapter in lab, or most chapters in lab, also have additional activities. Again, these are just practice. It's not mandatory. It's just extra resources. You'll see as we go through this course, there are lots of resources to help you to do well. And then one last thing, if you continue scrolling down on that side menu, you'll come up to what's called the lab practical section. All right. In this section, it's just having your exam reviews for lab. These study guides are walking you through what I might be able to test you on on your lab exams. And it breaks it down again, chapter by chapter. We do not do every chapter in lecture and lab. So follow and trust the exam reviews. You'll see as you go through it, we do chapter one, then we skip chapter two in lab. We do not do chapter two in lab and we go straight to chapter three. So you trust these reviews. They go chapter by chapter, section by section, telling you what you need to know for the exam. So that's a lot of what's really here available to you on Blackboard. One more time. When you log in and you come to our class, first thing you're going to see is the dashboard, which will have announcements. To find the syllabus, just click on Course Syllabus and Information. There you'll find the syllabus and extra credit information. Remember, if you have a question in class, just post it to the discussion board if you don't mind others seeing or email it to me. If you need to access your required material, your textbook, it's all in the Pearson e-text, Ammerman, and Mastering a &P, as well as doing your homework. So don't forget... When you need to access homeworks on mastering, it's also on this link. Or if you want to study with mastering, just use the study area. If you need to email me, you could just email me at chiggs at alvincollege.edu or click our email link. You could check your grades in the My Grades section. You could study all your lecture material in the lecture course section, all your lab material in the on lab online lab modules area and you could check out your lab exam reviews in the lab practicals area and if i make any changes to our course website i will post it in an announcement in our initial dashboard section 
So again, don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated. Feel free to look around. You won't, we will not accidentally take an exam or a quiz. Everything's locked and won't become available until the specified time in your syllabus. So for now, feel free to look around. If you have questions, post it to the discussion board or email me. You could do this.